how are you guys doing welcome back welcome back to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe child i know i am super duper late on this topic but today we are going to be reading on chris brown and quavo Chris Brown is a 34-year-old singer, and Quavius Marshall, known as Quavo, is a 33-year-old rapper. The beef between the two started roughly around 2017 when Quavo decided to go behind Chris Brown and date his ex, Karushi. Honey... Chris Brown put out a diss track not too long ago. And in that diss track, y'all, he claimed he hooked up with Quavo's ex, rapper Sweetie. And they hooked up when she and Quavo were still together. Sweetie, so far, has not came out get saying if, if it was true or not that she and Chris Brown messed around when she was with Quavo. So we about to just do a little quick reading and see. We about to see if Diamante Harper and Chris Brown mm, had an entanglement. <laughs> This reading is for entertainment purposes only, and it may not resonate with you all. Spirit, thank you. Spirit, this spirit is on Chris Brown and Quavo in Rapper Sweet. Spirit, do Chris Brown and Diamante Harper have an entanglement while she was in a relationship with, with Quavius? Do they have an entanglement? When she was with Quavo. The Six of Swords. Hmm. Somebody want to move past the situation. They want to move on from something. Thank you, Spirit. Did Chris Brown and Diamante Harper have an entanglement while she was in a relationship with Quavo? Show me, Spirit. They have an entanglement. Thank you, Spirit. If somebody wants to move on from a situation, what do we got here? Five of Pentacles, Star Card, and we got the Hermit. Five of Pentacles. Someone felt like they were missing out. Missing out in a way, um, but they stopped themselves from doing something. They 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 were lacking something in their life. We got the star card. Someone was starting to dig somebody else, y'all. And put themselves in a position to embark on their innermost wishes and, and dreams and desire. Somebody was very vulnerable. Very, very vulnerable. We got the hermit card. Someone was doing some deep soul searching and they choose they chose to remove oneself from like a a toxic situation. Someone wanted to move on from something. And they realized like their current life path was not fulfilling them. It, it wasn't fulfilling them on a soul level. So they, they ended a chapter in their life and they began something new. 
I feel like someone was, they, they were going through something, y'all. Something which tested their faith. It tested their faith and their perseverance. And during this hardship, they held on to hope. They, 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 they hoped that the situation would have got better. And they maintained a positive outlook on life. They really felt abandoned. And they, they seek spiritual and emotional support. From someone else. They felt that their. Relationship that they were in. Lacked like a connection. So they, they took time to focus on oneself. Oneself needs and desires. And, and they connected with somebody else. I feel someone lost someone that once meant a lot to them. And they found something else. They found something that was valuable in the in at the present time. And this something else was valuable in the experience of this lost within the relationship that they were feeling. So basically the loss turned into a gain. They they suppressed something in order to profit somewhere near, somewhere else. I feel like a, a sensual pleasure what was Sensual pleasures was there for someone and they valued it, y'all. They valued this sensual pleasure slash SEX. I feel like they were exploited um, sexually and they, they found great pleasure within a sexual moment they enjoyed it i feel like the end of something the, the the loss of this relationship brought peace to this person i feel like something someone regrets now Something they did in the past, they regret it. And this regret has a major influence on their life. I do feel like this person feels guilty and they feel embarrassed. They felt like something should have been kept protected. Something should have been privated. They feel like secretive information it gave um, power to someone. It gave power to someone. Something that was supposed to be a secret between two individuals gave one of the individuals an upper hand. It gave them power. I feel someone is guarded uh, um, about their, their secretive desires and they are now very cautious regarding who they involve their self with. They they're they're being very cautious regarding their sexual desires. Because they they feel tricked. They feel tricked and they feel manipulated. They feel as if um 
someone is, is very, very sneaky or, or a false person. They, they feel as if someone used a situation that was supposed to be between two people in a cunning way to reach one's goal. Yeah, I just feel like this person that that felt like um, betrayed, they they are now very suspicious and distrustful, and they they will now do everything that they can to protect their secrets, to protect their desires. But they taking no risks, no more risks. Because they, they, they feel like this secret, this promise was broken. And now someone is reaping the benefits of that promise. I feel like someone feels like someone else talked too much. And that they are being put at a disadvantage. They feel like this person need to <laughs> close their chompers. <laughs> I feel like this person feels like this person is like confused as to why. Why did you release this information that was between us? They, 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 someone is confused as to why something that was supposed to be a secret between two individuals is now being used to give someone a foothold over a situation. Ooh, child, y'all. I'm going to end things here. <laughs> uh, that conducts the reading on Chris Brown and Sweetie Sneaky Link. <laughs> what do y'all think about Chris Brown letting it be known that he and Sweetie hooked up when she was with Quavo, y'all? Do y'all think uh do y'all think Chris Brown and Sweetie actually hooked up? And if so, what do y'all think about them? Hooking up. Let, let, let's let's just get the comment section popping, y'all. <laughs> let's just get get it popping. Get it popping. <laughs> I know the last line I just said <laughs> made no sense, but <laughs> what did I say? What do y'all think about Chris Brown and Sweetie uh hook, hooking up? And if so, what do y'all think about them hooking up? <laughs> that makes no sense. Actually, it do kind of make some sense. <laughs> anyway, y'all, <laughs> leave your thoughts and opinions down below. I thank y'all for rocking with me. Um, thank you all for watching. Be blessed and be safe.